Fortunately, the Red Cross has seen a surge of new blood donations this month thanks to a new promotional campaign that has gone viral on social media. And as Kent explains tonight, they have an old Minnesota celebrity influencer to thank. Sharon, if you believe what you read online, this is the most sought after shirt in the country right now. Yes, St. Paul's own Snoopy, AKA Joe Cool, is the star of the new Red Cross campaign. And he's so cool, this shirt is so cool, that it's a journey just to find it. The Red Cross's latest giveaway may not cost you any peanuts. Go ahead and give me three good squeezes. But you do need to pay in blood. It's amazing what people will do for a t-shirt. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I think it's pretty freaking cool though. Andrea Maimoni just didn't realize how cool a Red Cross social campaign for the peanuts collaboration generated millions of views on TikTok last week. I think I am easy to influence, but I certainly did not expect to log into TikTok and be influenced into giving blood. But that's exactly what happened. I think it was just really kind of shocking. We came in Saturday morning and they're like, hey, these t-shirts went viral. Like, really? A t-shirt? Like, okay, but that's so cool. That is so cool. In fact, the Minneapolis Blood Donation Center, where she works, is now having trouble keeping them in stock. We have run out of them in Minneapolis. We still have some in St. Paul, but we're getting some of those restocked. Uh, we do have some limited availability for appointments, so we really encourage people to, to sign up and, and get, uh, get their appointments set. I know, I think I'm gonna have to wait for mine in a couple days to come in the mail. <laughs> Cassie Knowles said she didn't know about the t-shirt before donating, or that the Peanuts crew has a long history with the Red Cross, dating back to the original comics but she certainly understands the appeal spans generations. I did have a t-shirt. I was able to sneak one in the beginning, but mine got stolen from my 13 year old. So now she's a comedy or that. So, so she's gonna be advertising at Coon Rapids Middle School now, so. That's just fine with her, as long as it helps move the needle. Anything to get people in here to donate, you know, cause we need it. Come on in, we'll treat you nicely. Are you feeling good? Yeah. Excellent. 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 I need an IOU though for a t-shirt at this point. Yes, you will. Right? I will definitely get, make sure we get you that one. You've definitely earned your t-shirt today. Let's get you a nice sticker here. It turns out even the IOUs are cool. Look at that. Hey, I'll take it. Awesome. If it wasn't for donors like you, I wouldn't be standing here. I am actually, from my last pregnancy, an eight unit blood transfusion recipient. People like you saved my life, so now it's my turn to come back and give you my time. I am happy to report, as you can see, I was able to get my Joe Cool t-shirt because yes, they have plenty here in St. Paul. That's what Lucy and the rest of the gang here told me. They are still taking appointments. They have these t-shirts available through the 23rd of April or while supplies last, of course. And again, at the Minneapolis Donation Center, they said they'll be getting some more in in the coming days. For all the information on how to sign up and get involved, get your t-shirt, go to care11.com. Sharon. Really glad to know that Kent actually donated and worked for that t-shirt and that it wasn't just a media freebie. Even if you miss out on the t-shirt, the Red Cross says anyone who donates this month will be entered into a raffle for a pair of tickets to the Charles Schultz Museum in Sonoma County, California.